Oh, we're okay, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to route the Samsung Galaxy S6. I uh, want to go through the procedure using Chainfire, it should be pretty easy and straightforward to do. So, um, first thing we want to do, first thing I want to mention is this will void your warranty and it will trip Nox. So, just bear that in mind. And I won't be held responsible if you know, brick your phone or you know, something goes wrong. Um, you know, you should know all the risks when you're going into this, but everything should run smoothly. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to jump into settings. We're going to go into about phone. You want to tap the build number a few times. I've done it already because I'm a developer. Tap it about six times and you should unlock the settings where you're a developer right here. And then you want to enable USB debugging. Once we come out of that, we're going to go back into about device and you want to make a note of your model number. My one is SMG920F. Whatever your model number is, write it down because you're going to need it to download the correct uh, software. Next, we're going to do once we've done that, <clears throat> um, we want to put our phone into download mode. So we're going to turn off the phone. Give a few seconds to turn off. Um, what you have to get into download mode, you want to do volume down, power button, and the home button. Press it all at the same time. So power down power button, um, volume down and the home button, I'm going to press it, and there we go, warning, it tells you about um, installing a custom OS, we're going to do a volume up, and we're in download mode, next, we're going to get your USB cable and connect it to the PC that you're going to be installing it from, there we go, and then that's it, we just put this to one side and we're going to move over to the PC for the next part. One thing I just want to uh, add is if you're having problems with connecting your phone to your PC, download and install the Samsung drivers. Um, I'll have a link to that in the description. Install the drivers and connect it to your PC and everything should work just fine. The next thing I want to do is I have the first link uh, in the description that takes you to this XDA post. And the chain file one, we're going to click here, which brings it to the website. And this is where you need your model number. If you scroll down, it's got a huge list of um, different phones you could you know root and stuff like that so you just need to find your model number our one was G SM G9 I think I passed it already G9 20F so our one is right right there I don't know if you can see that on camera I'll have to zoom in a little bit If you can see that's the one that we do once you find your one just head over to here you see a little download button click download and then we're going to place that downloaded file into a folder so i've got mine here already so this is the file you should get just make sure your model number is correct and you're downloading the correct one next we're going to right click and we're going to click extract here and it's going to extract all the files in the same folder right here and you can see it already has Odin installed so just double click and open up Odin and because you all got your phone connected already you should also you should see um, 0 com 5 as you see it's been added so you know that um, Odin has picked up the device um, next we're going to click AP let's see if I can zoom out a bit so you can see a bit better so we're going to click AP and we're going to find the uh, one that we just extracted which should be here so go back to the folder and find it it should end in .tar.md5 and you can see the model numbers there so you know it's correct uh, we're going to click open and it should be added to the thing you can see it checks it and then from there you just click start you can see it's flashing the recovery cache and reset and your phone should reset my phone just reset within a few seconds it was that quickly once it resets you can see it start to install some stuff do not unplug your cable just yet no, don't, don't unplug your cable until everything is finished. 
I could show, I want to show you my phone right now but the cable is not long enough and I can't bring it over here so you should see some writing come up and then it should start flashing and then it should just reset as normal you can see my phone just literally reset and it's ready to go I'm just going to move over to my phone real quick and show you uh, what's going on okay so once that is finished it should say pass. Once it says pass, you could unplug your USB. Don't unplug it until it says pass. Even even though it might take a little while, wait for it to say pass before you unplug it. Um, next, we're going to show you that it has installed correctly. So you scroll over and you should see super user. Super user should be installed. No thanks. And then from there, you know everything is all right. You can start downloading rooted um, applications and start you know using that. And from there you could actually flash your recovery and do all of that good stuff. So yeah, that's the phone rooted. Pretty simple and straightforward uh, method to do. Um, yeah, that's about it for the video. If you enjoyed it and if it helped you, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Um, if you need any help or you have any questions or you just want to say thanks, leave all that good stuff in the comment section down below. And thanks for watching. Peace.